Hello and welcome to the Potter Podcast uh, for the fillet. I'm going to design this right here and show you how to use the fillet, which will give you round edges. All right, so using Autodesk Inventor, we're going to use the standard inches. And we're going to make a simple L shape. So first off, we're going to start a 2D graphic on the XY plane. I'm going to take lines and I'm just going to draw a L and I'm not doing a very good job but I'll use some constraints and straighten that up so let's use the perpendicular constraint for there and there and this one and this one and then kind of go around and it looks pretty good we want to make use the equal constraint and this edge and this edge are going to be the same and this edge and this edge are going to be the same that also means that those two will be the same so for this one we want it to be 1.5 inches so I'm going to type 1.5 and hit enter I'm going to double click my middle mouse button and zoom out and I'm going to dimension this top side to be 0.5 and there we go I'm going to finish this sketch zoom out and extrude it to be 1.5 inches go ahead and hit that green check mark all right so we've got our L shape and this is going to be the first time I believe you're going to use this fillet tool so if you hover over it, you can see what it does. It plays a little video, and we'll click it and show you. So we want to change this to 0.25, and then you can see, I'm going to move this out of the way. We want to move, we want this to be 0.25. We want this to be 0.25, and we want this line to be 0.25. So I'm just simply clicking it hitting the green check mark and we've got our curve if you want to add some color to it you can I'll call this one yellow and we'll just make it clear and highlight it click it and there we go so you've just learned how to use the fillet tool all right, so we've finished, so make sure we save it. Go to our save folder and put it in your downloads. And let's start a new, uh, create a new folder, and we'll call this Inventor. And we're going to save all of our new stuff in our Inventor folder, and we're going to call this Fill It and your initials hit save and then upload it to my big campus and don't forget to add this to your portfolio thanks